All right, I'm going to show you this kind of quickly. This, this is a footprint um, that I found um, several years back in the Triassic Rock, it's called. And that's the red bed in the gray shale, I mean the gray clay, and then the black cap on top. And I'll show you that. I'll take it apart in a minute. But you can see the architecture of the foot. You see this size here? Okay. And then, um, so anyway, I mean, it's, it was very apparent. It actually had the the actual ridges of the skin in there. I washed it a zillion times. I'm going to show you this very close up. I'm going to deconstruct it and put a little better light on it. But I put it in this. It's, it's sometimes it's hard to see this until you angle it in the light and you get the shadows and so forth. Now, back here is an actual foot. And this is the one thing that is uh, got me a little bit perplexed, but I think we're going to look into this a little closer. Now, this is uh, it's a foot and this architecture right here looks to me for all the world correctly as you can see whoops round two here coming up hold on one second as you can see here you see this this area here if you took that other one and put it right on top of here you're going to have that same exact it's going to fit right in there because it's it's just a foot <laughs> it's just what it is now Here's the key though, is this constructed like a foot and are these little cushion pads, do you see these here? Now I can't seem to find that anatomically on the drawings that would correlate to this and there's another very, oop, round three, I do that all the time, and there's another, there's another um, reason that I'm thinking these may be bumper pads and this may have been a boot or a shoe of some sort i do know for a fact that there was uh here i'm going to turn on a little better light now that you've seen the architecture of all this now um hold on uno momento all right here we go now the um I do have pictures showing that there were high-tech vehicles here thousands of years ago, and I'll, you know, I'll show you that in a minute too. Now, he, you can see what we have here. Now, this oh, here's the key. You see how big that is? I can see the, the the heel in here, and I can follow some of this. But you see that? Oh, you see that? It's like the guy's got a boot on or something. You see the size of that? That's not a way a normal foot works for me. I don't know about yours. But I got a feeling this was a boot of some sort. And this, you know, it's starting to peel off of here. And, and this, I don't know. I don't know what to say. But that's, that's what, it, what it looks like now. Now, here, I was in the Army up in Alaska for a couple of years. And we had uh, boots. And we called them bunny boots. And they were big like this, and you, they were had boop, 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 you could bounce in them because they were made for real, real cold weather. And they had a little valve in them, you could uh, uh, depressurize them when you went up in the, uh, in the aircraft. So, I don't know, I have no clue, but this is what it is, and I, it's a foot, I know it as a fact, it's a foot. Now, the architecture is so perfect that... I have to think those are actually anatomical spots, but as I look through my uh, anatomical stuff, and this is good as anybody's, I think, I can't find that that structure anywhere. That, uh, but I do know they do they do that. They invest like this. You see this here? This is an apical tuft, and here you see that it has a circle here, and then all those things grab around it. That is the way a tendon invests, and it has one big thing in the center. Now, you know, I mean, they do or they don't. I don't know if it is or it isn't, but it could be biological. It could be manufactured. It's just strange. All right, now let me show you this uh, Triassic footprint, which uh, I found years ago, and nobody wants to look at it. Now, uh, it's from an area here in Connecticut that is right next to Dinosaur State Park, which is Triassic Rock, and this area is considered Triassic. Now, this here is what's called the red bed, and that's because it's red, and it's red clay, 
and you see how red it is? All right. That was, it was a big puddle of red clay. This guy came along, stepped in it, and pushed this gray stuff. You see the gray shale? Pushed that stuff down through the gray stuff, which is, I mean, the, uh, the, the red stuff, which is the red bed. And that was up here. And he slurped it down and pushed it down in. And there is that, that gray clay. Now, so what does that mean? So now he stepped on that, and there's where his foot hit, and then this was on top, which is the black cap. That is the signature of Triassic rock, and it is obviously not yesterday's rock. So, and I cleaned this a zillion times. And what's cool about this is you can see how wide the guy's foot was. If you look here, you're going to see these little slurpia suck-ups, I call them. Uh, I don't know if you'll see it or not, because I never do, but maybe you will, maybe you won't. If you look at this, and you see that stuff here, hold on, let's see if you can get close. You see that little scuggly stuff there? <laughs> now, on the sides, you see here, it's like flattish looking. There's none of that blah, blah, blah. Well, what happens, and I made these, Yeah, I did all this stuff, I made my own, I made it out of several different types of materials. And when you step in it, in a real slurpy one, and you come back up, it goes just like that. And you get all these little suck-ups, I call them. But on the edges where your foot hits, whoops, where your foot hits, it sort of, it, it just plays it off flat so you don't get that. But this, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it is a foot, it's, I mean, that's what it is. And it's in a Triassic rock. So let's see, why doesn't somebody explain these things? Well, how can they, how can they get away with saying, oh, none of this stuff is real without ever even looking at it? And nobody will look at it. Yale refuses. Harvard refuses. John Hopkins refuses. Everybody refuses. Because they don't want to deal with the reality. Just a fact. <laughs>